Uh, today's menu at the palace? Uh, yes, this is them. Um, they have uh, <laughs> they've done something, and uh, there's a woman well used to drinking champagne. <laughs> <laughs> The traditional spilling of the champagne from the mouth to announce the uh, birth of a baby. It must be the first time Daily Mail has been enthusiastic about a black baby on benefits. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be amazed if that makes the edit. <laughs> well, well, first of all, we learned that the baby weighed seven pounds, three ounces. They emerged from the privy purse door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Play. They just make this stuff up. I know. I, I have never emerged from the privy purse door, have you, Joe? I have after I had sex have with you? the Duke of Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> that won't get on either, <laughs> Phil. But, you know, so to speak. <laughs> Matron. Uh, yeah. Why yeah. well, he crashed his car. <laughs> Who could be seen camping out on Windsor High Street? Duke of Edinburgh, waiting for you to turn up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love that. Um. <laughs> that was Prince George. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to the Duke of Edinburgh. Oh, lovely, yeah. Right. We're never far away. <laughs> <laughs> Not in your eyes. What is it? <laughs> you know, you, every time you mention his name, you twinkle. Have you noticed? Uh, <laughs> I have. Mm. <laughs> Laugh. Anyway, what has the Duke of Edinburgh done <laughs> for the uh, birth? Well, what, apart from you? Finish the sentence. <laughs> what the last the two weeks. <laughs> what has the Duke of Edinburgh done for the first time since the car crash? Told the Queen about you and him. 